Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. Still playing with the um, asteroid field. Well, we're doing alright. We're gonna upgrade shields because we can. Might want to spend some stuff on mind control, but... Uh, nope. Let's do it. You have three shots on one of those things. That thing can one-shot one of them, well, can one shot this guy. I don't think I want that. No. I'm actually fairly sure that I'd rather not have that. But can't pierce four shield layers. I think maximum it can pierce is two. Maybe three? I don't know. Let's take it out regardless. <laughs> For safety reasons and whatnot. And now you're trying to run. <sighs> well, you might actually succeed too. Um dumb enough to not target piloting, so we're gonna accept this offer. Anyway, this is probably gonna be a rather short episode. For better or for worse. Uh, you got hacking. Seems like it just arbitrarily picks something to... Engines. Mm, all right. Let's take out the annoying drone. Or not. Well, we took a drone out. It's something. That'll do it. Run. Just run. Okay. Really should fire in these two, this one at the very end, but... Fix the head up. Well, we won't have to put a buffer in oxygen. We don't have oxygen. Um, hmm. We could try to kill crew. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. At least give us something to lengthen this video a bit, right? You have hacking. And they're not really using it on us, so maybe it will just completely shut it off. I suppose you could have figured that out if he ever bothered to actually put some more power in our sensors, but... Mm. 
Whatever, right? <clears throat> now that's one way to kill a lot of crew quickly. Not really what we're aiming for, otherwise we would have taken this thing out already. There we go. Just to show that we can take that out. 52, that's enough for level 3 hacking. suppose we could leave the repair beacon there. Small chance. It sticks around long enough. Now let's try something. Curiosity and all that is starting to take the better of me. Let's see what this does. Puts them on the spot pretty darn quickly, I'll tell you that. It's too late for the heavy laser at this point. It's a lot of shots. Man, that went amazing. Three, two, one, zero. Sweet. Alright, there should be a store here, I think. Yeah, there is. Along with some free hull repairs. A full hull repair, even. Firebomb. An exclusive model of mining beam manufacturer designed by the most prestigious mining company in the Federation space. Uh, charge time is lower, strike speed is faster, and has a breach chance. And yeah, no I wonder it's is this damn expensive. Do we want that? Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's just upgrade our ship a bit. Um, right. Well, let's see what the flagship looks like. All combat documents are fully operational. Let's see if this works. The crew feels a lot safer with this equipment. The enemy will have a harder time messing with their ships right now. And we indeed are not getting mind controlled. <laughs> Alright. That is quite nice. Alright, so they do have a med bay. We want to keep one dude alive. Sure, let's dodge the ions. That's the only thing that can really put us in a problem with these sync. Uh, we should probably get these desynced then too. First things first. Uh, wrong dude, wrong dude, wrong dude. Desync this. <laughs> Right, now whoever wants to be in med bay is allowed to be in med bay. And then you melt. Good. Now I sort of get the idea they will just ignore that med bay, but that's 
probably fine too. Means we'll be. What are they gonna do? They try to run away. We can shoot them. Though they might get out just before we manage to. Nope, he's dead. All right, they only got a few peeps left in there. <clears throat> I guess we can start using my control to kill the others, seeing how they will probably ignore the med bay from here on in. So we mind control. But eventually the fire will spread. Let's shoot them a bit, just because we can. And another one is dead. Now we'll be down to low health, which will probably make it easier for the guy that I'm mind controlling to kick the bucket. Well, to kill his fellow crew members. Mind control is almost ready. A few more pot shots. And then there are only two left. We want to bring that down to one. We don't want zero because that's going to make the eye take over. One will do. He'll be slow to repair stuff. Ooh, wow, they got a hit in. Look at you. Good. Goodbye. All right. Um, let's just chase it down. Why not? No hacking or mind control, evasive maneuvers. We'll hack piloting. Sure. Oh no, my cloaking. No. no. I'm so screwed now. No. Anyway, um, we're good to go. Let's get that stuff desynced. The drone's staying up, but that's on fire. Meeting the drone probably won't live too much longer. <coughs> there he goes. Um, you can go beat him up. Actually, you want to keep on shields. Let's just leave like that. All right. So you're giving up on fixing the drones. Just gotta make sure that we don't blow you the tiny little bits. Uh, looks like we're gonna take a hit here. So, yeah, quite a few too. Wonderful timing at work. Still, it's already pretty clear that he's pretty much done for. How is it possible that my cloaking is that much off every single time? You used to be able to comfortably cloak through all of these, now just like, nope, 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 nope. Probably something I'm doing wrong, but I don't know. If 
Final phase. Do you have any weapon in storage? No. Alright, so everything auto fires. Uh, he's got mind control again, so I'll go oh, and hacking too. All combat augments are ready for. Yep, and no mind control nor hacking. Auto fire all the things. A bit weird that this is a big room now, but <coughs> whatever's really. Alright. Goodens. Um, hack. Probably a bit too soon there. Maybe not. <laughs> Could have desynced our weapons, but yeah. he, him not having any shields is probably going to be a bit more troublesome for him. And then we just wreck up everything. Yeah, your armor plating isn't do you isn't doing you much good, is it? There we go. <clears throat> nice and simple. Quick, clean victory. That's all we want. Anyway, having said that we had a good run at the end, it doesn't mean we had a good run at the start. For those remembering that episode, you probably know why. <clears throat> Namely, the few issues this ship has. Namely, asteroid fields, enemy combat drones, or beam drones, whatever. Small weapons room in, you can't really fire the flak very well. Uh, there's the solar flares, because you don't have shields, you'll be taking quite a bit of damage in those. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting a few. But yeah, getting hit on weapons is pretty much a GG. Uh, what else? Not being able to buy oxygen is not choice. Because, you know, hey, you hear some crew. Well, too bad, he's gonna die now. The damage they spot is a weird one. So, yeah, it's a ship we heavily relied on luck. But, hey, after, what, eight, nine retries, we did get the luck we were looking for. So, hurrah. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you still the series. Feel free to support by coming, liking, and or subbing. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.